She had a stained glass window for a heart, a shoebox for a chest cavity, and a kaleidoscope for a soul that would reflect its light back at me. Depending upon the day, she shone different colors. She had a handful of favorites she kept locked inside her cupboard. She's got drawers in her stomach, knows how to swallow her pride, but it gets compartmentalized in the crawl spaces and builds up inside. She says she's fine, but she lies. She wears sunglasses all of the time to try to hide her eyes, and at night, she stays out of the shadows. It's one of the only times that her true color shines. She says, you're talking about me like you know what I mean, but you know nothing, nothing at all about leading this kind of life. Baby doll, my heart is as black as my lungs are. I keep bitterness in these cabinets next to all my bad habits. You either find faith or lose it. You either had it or have it. Well, I have had it. So I'll wear my smiles on these good days that I keep in these baskets. Wear my grimace face in life without the opiate for the masses. You pop your god! Like these pills that I take to bear the circumstances. What's the difference? I call out to your God, but he never listens. You call it praying? Well, I'm just wishing that things would have been different. She said her daddy didn't want her, so she squanders to be the mother-father figure for her daughter, a piece of clay, recreating herself as this beautiful basin from the situation she's been placed in, built for retaining life, a feat manufactured without the proper water or a potter, and her heart, it cuts like a knife. It's priceless, and it's as hard as a diamond, and she's been selling it for nickels, and everybody's been buying. Now there's cracks in the basin, the way there's cracks in the basement, the place where daughter's daddy beat her when she dared to face him the way there's cracks in that cement and she can dig her high heels in while she waits for another customer to come and pour his water in. She said her mama was a little bit crazy, a little lazy, a little biased towards the media mainstream, prone to feigning or naming it feigning when she'd pass out after blazing, just after Papa came home late for the hazing. The alcohol made him crazy! That's when I started praying, 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 but nothing started changing, 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 yeah. That's when I started blaming, blaming, blaming! We're all on our own! There's nothing in those stars. There is no hand out there to save me. Could you save me? Save me. She loves Vogue and American teen magazines almost as much as she loved vomiting. Try to match a model of women that she'd see on the movie screen. Said, look, I believe that she loved me and maybe it's a fantasy, but I think that she cared for me like she cared for methamphetamines. Don't tell me I need saving. You point your fingers so righteously, all these people pushing at me to practice their piety. Well, I gave your God a chance to save me. So thank you kindly, greatly, but it's just me and my baby, me and my little girl. Girl, us against the world, so sweet dreams, daughter. I'm gonna be your mother. I'm gonna be your father. Every time another man just like her father bought her, she spent the nickels on diamonds for her daughter. She had prisms for eyes, and one time she took off her mask and let me inside. I paid her for her time, told her that she was valuable, and she replied, <laughs> Yeah, I'm about as valuable as the next man in line. But I came to tell you, you're beautiful. I think that you're lovely. I think that you're made for more than you settled for. She said, all of them, every single one of them tell me they love me. I used to dream. I used to have big plans. I used to believe that there was somebody out there that was bigger than me and that he would take care of me and that I could grow up to be whatever I wanted to be. But I guess it's too late for me. So I started selling my dignity to give my daughter that dream and to make it a reality. I used to dream. I never meant to quit. Who's to blame for this bullshit? But girl, I will not even mention it. The hands that were dealt, I don't understand. And I don't have all the answers. And I don't know all the plans. I just wanted to tell you, you're beautiful. I think you're lovely. I think I know love that loves the unloving. She said, you told me your God was gorgeous, but I just can't see it. I want so badly to see color. I want so badly to believe it. I keep an ounce of hope inside of one dresser drawer in my chest. Every now and then, it grows if watered to a seedling at best. And one time, it grew in its 
stretch through the cracks all the way into the next, but I just can't make it blossom as I just can't make myself forget and now there's nearly nothing left. She's got a kaleidoscope soul, but she's got grayscale lenses. She's got wrought iron bars that make up her defenses. She's got all her emotions hung up on hooks in her closets. She's got little hints of happiness tucked away inside her locket. She's got high hopes of heaven stapled to the doors of her cabinets. She wraps the hopes up in packets of personal baggage to mask it. She's got angels singing to her from the lips of ballerinas and a music box. And she keeps locked behind this door. It's cemented to a heart of rocks, but if you knock long enough, they say that door could be open. Here's the hope, and until then, I just wanted you to know that you're beautiful. And I think you're lovely. I think that you're made for more than you settled for. She said, all of them tell me they love me, but I think you're gorgeous. I swear it's true. I swear that there is more hope out there for you.